while I'm thinking of it, I'm also going to save so that if we have another issue, I can at least resume from this point instead of far down the road. Now, another problem is I, like I said, have... Whoa! What? Um, okay, all hands on deck. We're just trying to wreck a Venus Gin. Bruh. Well, conveniently, we can also immediately give this to Zelda and continue the class progression. <laughs> yes! Honestly, I was not expecting that to start off the next video. So, um, thank you very much, Overworld Jin, for being in places that I don't actually know yet. Oh yeah, look at those stat boosts though. Um, no change in synergy, we wouldn't expect there to be, but that's very nice. Still love some stat boosts. Okay, and this is where the world starts to like, snake in and on itself, so I think I'm going to try heading to the right first, because I know we're pretty close to the edge of the continent, and so going to the right pretty much guarantees that we're not going to accidentally progress the plot in ways that we don't intend to. And also there's a village here, so that's pretty nice. Ow. Stone Justice! crack a -thoom. Ow, wow! Oof! Physician, heal thyself. There might actually still be more continent to the right. Madra. Let me poke around to the side because... Oh. Shocking. Alright, there are guards at the front, which, I mean, could just be standard. Oh, those guys aren't even holding weapons. Let's talk to you. Oh. Hello. Really? That's the story you're gonna give me? Oh, not... that's the one. Uh huh. Okay, so that guy is legit. And also, there's a problem. Banditry, my good fellow. Okay, so I definitely want to go to the inn, and I definitely also want to check out the weapons, so let's do the inn first. Hmm, 1600 gold. I think I've slightly more than doubled what I had before I left. Ooh. 
I wonder if these people might be from Colosso? Oh, you're so late. No, guys, you're late. Oh, it's next year's Colosso? How long have we been at sea? What? Or are they just talking about nebulously next year's thing? Okay, let's sell the stuff that we no longer need, which is to say the sword. Um, this travel vest. 1800, pretty nice. All right, let's see what there is an artifact. And we can use it. I think I want to take a look at the basic weapons before we do anything involving them. Okay, so you're currently using a maze. Okay, so it's legitimately just... I have to pick which one of them gets the rod. Uh, 50 versus 57. Um... 8-point increase, 10-point increase. It seems kind of obvious to me. I'm going to go with the 10-point increase. Yes, sell the mace, please. Thank you. <laughs> Game tickets. All right. Oh, no. I'm, I'm slightly remembering things. I think Ciros, or, you know, Piers, if you're playing with default names... I think he might be the captured guy. I don't think he actually is Champa. Problem is, um, proving it to these guys. That's gonna be problematic. Okay, we love to get some upgrades. Oh, okay. I probably could have done this back at Dyla, but I wouldn't be surprised if I just couldn't afford it back then. And we definitely didn't have access to leather boots earlier, so this is just a free defense boost. Well, I say free, but we're literally paying 270 gold a pop. But there we go, that's some added survivability, and I think I am going to redistribute the inventory just a little bit. Okay, I think he does actually want to hold on to those. And you already have some smoke bombs, so... I think we do like that and that free... Well, let's also give over the elixirs to... Oh, duh, let's get... Wait. Oh, you can use the shaman's rod. Huh. Okay, then, yeah, I guess I can sell my sword, too. Uh, and I want to give the elixirs... I. Yes, to... I guess to Zelda. I didn't even think about trying to get the Shaman's Rod. Don't need to worry about that. Interesting. That's because it's not the Champa. I don't think I have reveal yet either, so I don't want to waste my time going around looking at every single box in town. But it's not. Yep, okay. Yep, that just confirms it. It is Ciros in the jail. Uh, yeah, you'll be fine.
Aww. Oh. Okay, this is clearly a comeback later. I am not going to forget to leave a Mars Gin behind. Definitely not. There doesn't seem to be a way in up top, so I don't think this is one of those go in a secret entrance type deals. Oh, yes, I'm remembering plots. Okay, and I've talked to them already. Oh, chest. Okay, I'm gonna... <gasps> the orb! Oh, okay, so I can't actually get that until I have Ciros out of jail. Oh, okay, that's not actually a door, that's just a window. And I need to figure out how to get up there. Oh, this is somebody that I could probably heal with Ply. I'm also kind of wondering if this is one of those things where I could pound the chest off. No. Eh, it was an interesting shot, but... No. Guys, imagine! We've just been raided by pirates! This unconscious guy over by some random boat is totally the pirate, right? Come on, I know. Yep. Bruh. Let me see if I can just casually mind read through the bars. Yes. Oh, so you're just not going to talk. grand journey. We have no set... I mean, yeah, probably. What? Well, 
I mean, if you're just gonna let me, I don't think I want to. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, I think it's scripted. Don't have reveal. No. <laughs> I'm starting to think that it's scripted, that we can't actually stay here. Okay, so if that's forward, then I definitely want to explore more to the west. <laughs> Now, I mostly went down that path fully expecting it to just dead end, because there could potentially have been an overworld gin there. And I see there's another continental passage or something over to this side. Man, I love that Merc secondary effect. Sheesh. Oh, it's a doggo. Dig is an actual synergy, and unfortunately, I can't do that, little dog. And I don't have Cirros yet, so we can't use that Frost yet. And there's a mushroom up there that's going to be important, I have a feeling. Oh, 
But you know what I can do? I can very much do that. Whirlwind. Get into this cave and see if there's anything of particular interest. Who are these people? Oh! They think that the continent was a controlled event, and it's not. Oh no! It... They totally didn't even realize that they just accidentally set the pirates free. Yes, totally. Let me just... Okay, there's nothing else in this room. Yeah. Unfortunate. Oh! And I just realized that's even funnier. That means that they totally set up that wall of leaves blocking the cave entrance. They totally thought they were being cool and uh, camouflaging themselves, but no. <laughs> Not to someone like me. Okay, is there anything else on the western half of the not continent, per se, because I don't think... I don't think we've quite covered the whole continent. Maybe we have. Maybe it's just a really small one. Let me just stand here and zoom out, and... Okay, I think we have seen everything on the southern half, theoretically. Theoretically! Which means, I guess we go back to town, rest at the inn. I'll probably just cut straight to that. And then I am going to go onto the other continent. Because I think I can get a good three sessions out of this, maybe? Keep the steam going while I have some steam. Hmm. Oh, right, I've totally forgotten that... Zelda, both her Jin are set. Ginny. No. Ginny is the singular? Jin is the plural? I'm gonna have to look that up. I need to definitely confirm that, because I'm pretty sure I had it correct all through the first game, and only now I have somehow forgotten. Okay, we rest up real quick. We go across to the continent, to the east. And I suspect what we're really going to find is Briggs and the pirates. And if we can do that, then we can set Siros free. But for now, this is pretty much just a, hey, come back here later kind of type deal. I suspect. And moreover, I would also not be surprised if at some point in time the story is going to raise that drawbridge behind us so that we have to pretty much proceed apace. Okay, I don't understand why that's there. Maybe once I get reveal. Yeah, don't say. It's almost like they want Briggs for some other reason. I get the feeling there's some reason to jump over in this direction, though, maybe? Oh, I see. I don't know if it's to cross or what, but... It's to get to this treasure chest, and that does make me... Oh, pirate sword! Don't tell me I've already outclassed myself. Okay. 
Alice can totally use this, so we're going to do that. And then we're going to give the Shaman's Rod to Zelda. Give, but not equip. There we go. So now we've got some pretty decent weapons across the board, all of them relics, actually. Well, I keep saying relic, artifact. They are artifacts. This is not Final Fantasy XIV. We have dinosaurs. That's freaky. Woo! That's such a cool effect! Dreamtide! Dreamtide again! <laughs> Okay, now this is... Obviously that bridge is wrecked. I'm wondering if it gets repaired later? Mamonga! It's some kind of rodent thing. Actually, it's somewhere between a rodent and, and a marsupial? I genuinely cannot tell what that's supposed to be. And I did, yes, I did unset the gin. Good. I'm gonna check over this way just in case there's an overworld gin. I doubt it. Man, that's such a cool attack. Okay. Clearly, there's only one direction to go from here. And this is three mobs, so we might as well just go... All in with the tri synergies. The AoEs, I mean. Easy. Trivial! Okay, this is another case of, I wonder is there an overworld gin, and I doubt so, so we're just gonna have to keep going to the right. Okay, so it's not to the left, clearly. And there isn't anywhere more south that we can go directly, so we have to go to the east. Uh, that's probably gonna be a desert. And I would be absolutely correct. Let's not do that right now. At the very least, let's see if there's a town first, and if I can find it, then that would be ideal. And then, depending upon how much time I think I have, I could maybe do the desert? Uh, did I not cross that earlier? Wait, what? Diviner's Cure Well, awesome. So actually, I don't know if I've crossed that yet, and I don't think it's quite backtracking if I go up here. Yeah, that's why. Because there's actually a second secret 
like piece of terrain that happens to match that. It's actually not that secret, it's just a second piece of terrain that looked very similar to one that we've already covered. I am running low on synergy though, so I'm hoping that I find another village soon. I was also kind of hoping that sort of a dead end like that would just, you know, there would be a djinn here or something. But that would be a lot of overworld djinn. Because we already are at, what, four total for the party? And this early on, that's almost surprising. Once more, we head to the south. Because I did notice the desert, obviously, and I wouldn't be surprised if it's one of those things that you need reveal for, and we just don't have that yet, so... Also, this continent is just... big. I do like that we're strong enough to start... There's a village, yes. We're close enough to the village that I feel comfortable just doing that. Ooh, Saber Dance. That's probably going to boost our party attack, I'm guessing. Mixala. Mikasala. These are all fantasy names that I do not know how to pronounce. Uh, aha, there we go. Aha! Oh, well, all right then. Before I even do that, I want to see if I can find the gin. Okay, I'm guessing this is a comeback later type de deal. Galahad! I do know of Robin. Oh, that's a side plot and a half. I don't know if I remember it, though. Oh, okay, this is your sanctuary. I don't actually need that kind of healing right now. Sheep. Chicken. This is the part where I would use Dig if I had it.
Oh, so we have to go to Air's Rock to get Reveal. Okay, we've already talked to them. I think this is going to be the shop, maybe? Whoa! Holy heck! Okay, that's pretty insane. That would leave us so poor, though. Um... Synergy armor, too? Uh, I don't think I'm quite ready to give up the Themis Axe just yet. And that's only usable by one person, so I think we do actually want to get Siphon Seal. And we're going to take the 30-point boost, obviously. But the other thing is... I think I want to check... I think I want to check... If this benefits Alice at all? No, it does not. Okay, so there is the desert to the north, which is on an entirely different path, and then to the south, I think, is Garrow and Ayr's Rock, so I might try going that direction if I can. Okay, so that doesn't actually go anywhere. I'm gonna poke up here just in case there's a gin. I'm also going to poke up this way, just in case. Saber Dance is our single target. That's very interesting. Okay, interesting. So I can see that to the right there is a path that goes to a bridge. Oh, and there's a town there. That's cool. Okay, it's probably defending. Yes, it is. Not quite to the level where we can just break through the defense and get it anyway. This has been Session 19, Part 2 of Omega Plays Golden Sun. 
Part 3 should release on Tuesday, November 19th. If you're new to the channel, please consider liking, subscribing, and clicking that bell to be notified. As always, I'm looking forward to your feedback in the comments below. And with that, I will catch you on the flip side. Thanks for watching, everybody.